Hi everyone, presenting Project Paradox, our multi-agent LM framework. Meet Adam everyone. He's just your average villager in a video game, except we have given him an LM-powered brain. Adam can move with intent. He can go to any location or person and he does this autonomously. Adam can interact with the world. He can pick up objects, he can drop objects, and he's aware of the context of every location he's in. Adam can react to events, places, objects, and people, and he does this on the fly according to his own personality. Adam can start conversations with you or other agents as well. Now, it's not just Adam who's capable of doing this. Introducing our multi-agent framework, where all of our agents collaborate with each other and the number of agents is scalable. Now, at the core of all our agents lies two major components. The first is the conversation engine that enables them to converse and our advanced memory engine that enables them to store memories for a very long time and recall them. Now, along with the intent, emotion, belief, personality, and the spatial information, these agents autonomously make a plan, which is executed in an interactive environment. And based on the feedback received, the whole process happens in a loop, which makes them very intelligent. Now, let's take a quick glimpse. So in this example, we'll ask one of our agents, Blossom, out on a picnic. We'll ask her to bring some food with her as well. Ah, of course, player. I'd be happy to deliver it to the fountain for you. It's one of my favorite spots, too. So you'll see she picks up the pastry right here and she'll take it to the picnic area. She plans the sequence of actions on the fly and she'll always respond within context as well if you try to talk to her in between. It's always a pleasure to share the joy of fresh treats with you at my favorite spot by the fountain. Now, Project Paradox is not just a multi-agent framework. It also provides you the tools to craft the story. Starting with our dynamic story trigger system, you can create a story event which influences the environment, the whole game. So now let's say we have created a story event that a choir is happening at the church. We see the agents react accordingly to it. Ah, choir practice. I love singing, don't you? And besides, it's always nice to clear my head after a long day. Now let's create a realistic one. There's a sale of apples at the market. And let's see how our agents, the game, reacts to the story event we have dynamically created. I came to the market to grab some deals on those apples I've been eyeing. Heard there's a sale going on. So not just events, you can just create a whole game on the fly with just prompts. We have created a murder mystery where Jacob is just killed. I'm just here to pay my respects. It's been a while since I've visited Jacob's grave. You can see the agents discussing with one another. Too, because yeah. It's always somber when we come to this place. Now, next we created a cozy game on the fly, very easily. It's nice to see you here, Charles. I was just thinking about our conversation on the apple prices yesterday. Did you end up buying some? Yeah, agents recall past events as well. So the story always stays consistent. Are still too high for me. So now, why should we choose Project Paradox? It is built to support any large language model from open source to closed source. We built our own custom API so you can integrate it into any platform, including VR, as you see we've done right here. And Project Paradox can be deployed either locally or on any cloud platform. Now, looking at the future for Project Paradox, we were able to build the core framework in just eight weeks. And looking forward, we want to explore how our agentic AI can be apl applied across domains. Game makers can currently enhance the NPCs in any game they'd like, and we're planning on publishing our research in a, a research paper by the end of 2025. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Right now, we actually started by uh, making a social deduction game like Blood on the Clock Tower. We realized we had to like rework a lot of stuff, so we started to make everything generic where all you have to do is edit by prompts. Then we realized we have almost created a multi-agent framework. So our goal, uh, coming from the perspective as developers, is for the developers first. So all these tools right here. So let's say you want the agents to collaboratively vote. You can use our voting protocol and you can have a game where there's voting involved. So our primary aim is for the developers. 
certain benchmarks like our agents can store like 1 million memories so we want to stress test it more and more interactions and see how we can apply it in fields like marketing like or in a political scenario like have two people compete and see how the agents are influenced so those would be an agentic ai is the current trend right now which is of hot research so we definitely feel like our framework has a lot of applications in the research domain like for a lot of uh, like domains as well like marketing social computing etc 